Hi, I'm Jim W6LG. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. It's about 100 degrees. There's a large fire burning south and east of here that's consumed about 2,100 acres, so it's really smoky. Uh, the fire's not burning in this direction, but it is a very nasty fire. Speaking of nasty, let's talk about microphones and how guys adjust them so they sound nasty. And that is by having too much mic gain, way too much compression, um, having outboard preamplifiers, uh, downward expanders, companders, crap. And, and what you're doing is, and then they, uh, in the transceiver, they do more compression. So you have a compressor running into a compressor, and it's badly distorted. But in their headphones, they probably think it sounds great because they've got a lot of bass. And what you don't want is a lot of bass. You want the emphasis on the higher frequencies around 2,000 hertz. And we'll get to that in a minute. So... What could be hard about talking into a microphone? Well, apparently a lot. Um, if you, this is a mic that I made in a prior episode. It's an electret, so it has lots of gain, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate in a minute. But the part you talk into is on the top, so you want to talk into it like this. And you want to get the mic so that it's about an inch from your lips. That allows you to turn the mic gain down and not pick up a bunch of uh, room echo, um, fans running, amplifiers running, all kinds of stuff. That stuff will go away because you're going to lower the mic gain to the minimum, talk into the microphone on the transceiver so the uh, meter in the ALC position just sort of wiggles or if it's an LED display maybe you've got one bar, maybe two bars. What you don't want to see is the ALC set so it's slamming all the way over to the right every time. You are, going, you are distorted if you're doing that. Um, I've got another mic here, and I'll demonstrate this one too. This is a um, a mobile mic. It sounds okay, but there's a big problem with a mobile mic, and that is this. Every and I'll demonstrate that too. Um, every time you do this, it makes noise, and that can be pretty annoying. So a mobile mic probably isn't a good choice. It's got the switch on the mic for the obvious reason. But as far as a base station microphone, I, I probably wouldn't recommend, I don't recommend it. Uh, another kind of mic that I like is, um, this is an older, a static microphone. And this is the one I use most of the time. I've got a little uh, screen on it that works a foam, foam gizmo. Uh, the push to talk is down here, so when I press it, it makes no noise. Uh, on this mic, the opening is pretty obvious. The cartridge is right here. It's forward, right behind a uh, screen. Um, this is a microphone that was designed for SSB, so it has a pretty good frequency response. And, but you can, you can turn the mic gain all the way up, turn up the compression to 30 dB, and it's going to sound like crap. Uh, and plenty of guys do that. And that's, that's another thing, too. Um, I, I don't understand the logic, and it's often on special event stations. Um, they're pretty excited about what they're doing, which is great. So they've got the compression turn, <coughs> turned all the way up. And they're distorted as all get out. And they're real excited because they're at some national park or some rare location. Relax. Talk into the microphone. Don't yell. It's... Got, we've got all kinds of gizmos in here to um, set the mic gain to the right, the mic gain to the right level. You don't have to yell into the microphone. Uh, talk in a normal voice. Um, the analogy that I use, or actually maybe it's a simile, it's like meeting a friend on the street and talking to him. You wouldn't yell at him. Uh, you also probably wouldn't say QSL, QSL. Uh, Hi Bob, QSL five nine QSL. Stop with the QSL. Uh, use it only if it's really necessary, but QSL doesn't mean over, and it shouldn't be used a hundred times during a contact. Once, maybe. A hundred times, not really. So, if you were meeting a friend on the street, you wouldn't say, um, boy, it's hotter than hell today, and your friend says, uh, yeah, it's hotter than hell. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you understand what I said? Yeah, I understand what you said. Of course he did. 
and if you didn't understand, he'll ask. So stop with the QSL thing. It shows that you're a beginner and don't really know what you're doing. Um, honestly, I, I never say QSL. <laughs> Just banned it from my uh, lexicon. Anyway, uh, let's do a quick demo. I'm going to hook up um, my remote microphone to the K3. I'm going to transmit through these microphones. I'm going to uh, adjust them so they sound terrible and then we'll um, uh, record that and play it back and I'll, and I'll set it. And again, to summarize what you need to do, set the mic gain so the ALC indicates one or two bars, quarter scale, not full scale, not past full scale. Set the compression so it's set for 3, 4, 5 dB, not 10 dB, not 20 dB and talk in a normal tone of voice. I get excited too. Uh, Rare Country gets on the air, yeah, adrenaline starts going, but I really try not to yell, and I certainly don't yell in typical conversations with guys stateside or on the other side of the planet. Um, just talk like you would with a guy on the street. If he says you're 5'9", he's understanding everything you're saying. If he says you're 3x3, three three, then yeah, it's you're going to have to repeat things, make sure he understands, and you have to you have to listen to the report that you get so that you know how well he's hearing you. If he says you're 5'9", that means he's getting 100% of it. There's no reason to say QSL, and there's really no great reason to repeat things over and over again. Anyway, enough for my lecture. Uh, some people have complained that my videos are too low-key. Hopefully that was a little more than than low key because it's a sore point with me. Let's move things around and I'll come back with the microphones, go, go through some tests. There may be some distortion introduced as I monitor uh, using my remote mic, but I think you'll get the picture. And there's enough stuff running in the background where the noise level will come up. So, back in a minute. Thanks for watching so far. Honestly, you need to think about how you do this thing because it really makes a difference. W6LG, be right back. Okay, here we go. We're going to test a couple of mics and um, doesn't matter which microphone I use, the, the point is going to be how to adjust it and each microphone will be a little bit different. I'm not worrying, worrying about the equalizer. I've emphasized the highs just a bit and dialed back the lows because the communications occur in the higher frequencies and I want to be understood. I'm a communicator, not a broadcaster. So let's, uh, this microphone is, is set to its max. In fact, I can hear the, in the headphones, I can hear the uh, fan running in the background. So let's uh, turn up the mic gain and back away from the microphone and turn up the compression. And this is what a lot of guys do. They've got the microphone on the table, they're a foot away, got all this room noise, and they're yelling into the microphone. And that's, that's not really good communication. Uh, uh, that may sound distorted, uh, and it, it, it is a bit, so let me dial this back down and turn the compression down. So I'm going to set the compression for about 5 dB, um, 3 to 5 dB, and the ALC uh, indication with the micing is going to be about one bar, which is about... 15-20% uh, of full scale. So let's switch microphones. This is the mic I typically use. Um, and let me go to, um, I'll go to the homebrew mic which has an electric cartridge in it and it has a lot more gain and I think will be a better demonstration of um, how crappy I can make it sound. And that's the way a lot of guys sound. So uh, unplug this one. Okay, this, this mic has a lot more gain, so let me uh, dial the compression back and the mic gain back. So, um, let's, this mic has tons of gain. I'm, uh, compression is showing a little more than 5 dB, and ALC is about quarter scale. So let me show you how some guys do it. They've got the microphone back here, um, and they're not talking into the mic. They've got a lot of room echo, and they've got the compression up. Now the meter maybe doesn't look so bad, but in the headphones it sounds terrible, and it, it is distorted. It's a clipping on peaks. So 
So we'll turn the mic gain down. The background noise pretty much goes away. I've got a large fan going, a 20-inch um, uh, fan in front of it, air conditioner, because it's hotter than hell. Uh, and I'm going to turn the compression down. So uh, in, in a pileup, uh, it's going to be more than adequate. In normal conversation, I might dial the, uh, the compression back just a bit. I'm close talking the microphone. I've got the mic gain down. I've got the compression down. I don't have um, Behringer or W3IHY, whatever the heck his call sign is, any of those boxes because it's not necessary. This sounds really good. Uh, this is a pretty much a, a wide spectrum microphone. And what I did was is I've adjusted the equalizer in the K3 to dial back the low, dial down the lows and increase the highs a bit. Let's go to one other microphone because I wanted to demonstrate a mobile mic and why they're not a good choice. And that's why. Um, it doesn't sound bad. It, it, uh, it's a bit hollow. Um, it doesn't have much of a screen over the mic cartridge. It is a dynamic mic. But there's that. Every time you press the talk, it, it makes a clicking sound. And when you release it, it makes a clicking sound. So it's just pretty annoying. Why does it do that? Well, the switch is located right next to and uh, almost touching the, uh, the cartridge. So somebody's calling me on Skype. So this is not a good choice. Um, if you can. Uh, make a microphone like this. I think I spent less than $10 doing it. It sounds great. Uh, you can find a mic like that or a Sure 444 or a, a Heil HM10 or Heil Goal Line. Any of those mics sound good. Um, but you've got to set the mic gain down, uh, close talk the microphone, and have the compression set to a proper level. So uh, let me go back to my favorite microphone, the old static mic, which is from 1967 or so. And I'll unplug this one. Okay, so let's set the, um, the mic gain uh, and the compression. Oh, I've got um, three, let's see, three dB of compression and maybe too much mic gain because I hear the, uh, the fan going. So I'm monitoring in the headphones. I've got the monitor up. I've got um, the microphone close to my lips. I'm kissing the mic. Uh, and, and despite all of that, uh, background noise, which is substantial, uh, it doesn't sound all that bad. Now, in, if, the fan, if the fan were off, there'd be no noise. Now, I can dial the mic gain down just a bit and get rid of it. So, uh, what you don't want to do, again, is this, where the microphone is uh, 18 inches away, and you run the mic gain up, and then you run the clipping up, and uh, this is the way some guys sound, and they, they're calling in pilots like this, and it, uh, you don't need to do that, so dial the uh, compression down so it's uh, uh, 3 to 5 dB, turn the mic gain down so that the ALC is uh, just wiggling a bit, and you're good to go. All right, 73, Jim, W6LG. See you the next time for Ham Radio Basics.